Good morning. It's Friday, February the 23rd, and we are getting started with our very first order that is very upside down today, guys. We're going to Cracker Barrel. It's 14.3 miles for $9.79, but we were at our house, so that makes a big difference because we're at least seven miles probably i forget how many miles we are actually from the restaurant but yeah we're a ways but that's okay we're gonna get started as you all know it is um the way we work it seems that if we take the crummy ones to start with like you take the very first offer they give you we seem to have better luck, but it is also Friday morning, and between the morning and about four o'clock, the offers are not near as good as the dinner rush. So, that's okay. We are going to go get this picked up, see how much money we can make today. I do have a Walmart Spark on and supposedly they're sending stuff but they're taking i don't know i'm thinking that because my stats on spark are not all that fabulous that that is the reason that i don't even see some of these offers maybe if my statistics were up that we would see them when they first come out before someone snatches them up so that's all right you know we're out here making money we are already ahead on spark yeah that one went too we are sitting from tips from Sunday we're sitting at ninety dollars and eighty cents so we'll see how much we can add to that um, this weekend as well and we're because we're building up that um, little savings account um, as well just because you know we got to do what we got to do um, that money usually goes to pay um, you know big bills or it just sits in there until we need it so that's where that's sitting and let's go and we'll see you at the Cracker Barrel This is uh huh, Melissa. Melissa. All right, you have a nice day. Thank you, y'all too. Oh, Thank you for your business. Have a great day. All right, guys, and we have another one. I'll tell you in a moment. All right, guys, here is the next one. We're going to Denny's. It is 8.6 miles for $8.82. So let's go to Denny's. Oh, y'all, this customer's already messaged me about when the app told them that I was going to the restaurant. So, I don't know what's going to happen. Hello, how are you? My I paid for it, and it's usually a 
Okay. I have a pickup for Chris. Okay, I'm gonna get another bottle of syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You too. So, they were like, I don't want it if it's cold. Well, nope, it don't feel cold. We'll go put it in the hot bag. And hopefully it'll still be hot when I get there. If it's not hot enough, you just have him call Grubhub and tell them, and they'll give him his money back. Okay? You're welcome. Have a great day. Yeah, because, I mean, that's on them. And then, on top of that, like, IHOP puts it under the warmers, and they don't at Denny's at all. So, when... We got there to Denny's. It was sitting on the counter, Always. not under the heat lamp like IHOP puts it. So, um, I just told her. You heard me. So, yeah, it's ridiculous. All right, guys. Well, let's see if we can get some more orders and go from there because... It's a little slow this morning, but we'll turn on, we'll probably need to turn on um, Uber. See if we can get some Uber Eats orders this morning too, cause there's only one hot spot on um, Grubhub right now. And believe me, it is not where you want to go. So, we got Mr. Uber on. So, let's see what we get, and we'll be back soon. Alright, guys. It's been a while. But we did our banking. I got my new card. And we got this one, finally, on Uber. It's 4.4 miles. It is $6.57. And we're going to Sonic. So, let's go to Sonic. Y'all, what is it with Sonic? So I got here, then they asked me if I was in the drive-thru, and then they were like, well, which stall are you in? Like, you shouldn't, shouldn't you know? And then I had a message on the screen that said, Rona is on her way with your order. Still haven't gotten it. I hate doing delivery pickups at Sonic, because all these Sonics are terrible. But I guess we wouldn't be getting anything anyway. We'd just been sitting. So I guess I'll have to push the button and find out where our order is. Well, let's see if they bring it. Because I pushed the button and they finally came back and I told him and he says, Oh, I'll bring it right out. Mm -hmm. It's 11 o'clock. Let's see if it shows up. <laughs> keep going out the other door. So, I don't know. They're about to tick me off. If it does it again, I'm going to turn around and go through the drive-thru. Oh no, here he comes. Finally. <laughs> Here you are. Hello. Alright, alright. Have a good one. Thank you, you too. Alright guys. Well, let's go get it delivered. Atlanta. for 
Melanie? Melanie. Okay. Uh huh. I'll give it to her. Thank, Thank you. you. People. I should be paying attention. All right, guys, let's see what else we can get today. All right, guys, we got this one on Grubhub. It is 10.9 miles for $10.55. But it, of course, would be the Jason's Deli that we were not near. So we had to drive all the way over here to go get it. So that's what we are doing. But hopefully it'll be ready by the time we get over here. So we'll see you at Jason's. All right, guys, let's see if it's ready. Thank you for your business. Have a great day. All right, guys. Let's see if it's going to pick up for lunch. All right, guys. Well, it must be our lucky day. We got this one going to Valore, the Italian restaurant. It is 7.7 .7 miles for $21.53. Yes, folks, you heard it. $21.53. So, yes, we jumped on that one really quick. So, let's go see if it's ready because I didn't even look to see how many um, items it is. It's only five. Let's see. That's the thing. It is Alfredo lunch special. Some kind of pasta with chicken, some zucchini, Cajun chicken and tortellini, and whatever number five is, is not even on the list. So, they need to fix that, because that is not a good way for us to find out, because that's how I messed up that person's order. Because one of the items is not shown on the screen. So, let's go get it, and we'll see you in a few. Chelsea? Chelsea? Okay, mm -hmm. let me go get that. All right, can I use your restroom? Of course. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, we'll be waiting. All right, guys, well, we finally got their food. They came out of the kitchen and like in a sprint with this bag of food. So, didn't get the GoPro turned back on, but that's all right. We're going to go get this delivered, and we will see you in a few. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Oh, I thought you were the groceries. Yeah. <laughs> you got it? Yes, ma'am. Got okay. you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. You're very welcome. Thank Appreciate you. It. You bet. Y'all have a great day. You as well. Thank you. All right, guys. We got that one done. Let's see if we can get some more. All right, guys. We got this one. We're going to five guys. Which means we'll see you at the drop-off because they'll have to cook the fries when we get there. 
so that's all right it is 3.7 miles for seven dollars and eight cents so yes thank you very much we are headed to five guys and we'll see you in a few all right guys we got that delivered so now let's see if we can find um, but I'll be something else that maybe pay a little more but we'll see we're fixing to go turn here and go back down western street let's see what else we get all right guys we got right here we're going to 584 it's 9.8 miles partly because of where we are we're at least three to four miles away from the restaurant and it is for fourteen dollars and ninety three cents so we'll probably be out here another let's see it's 20 to 1 so probably around 2 um, I'm thinking about going and grabbing some sandwiches for dinner so hubby doesn't have to cook and I don't have to cook either so let me go grab some barbecue sandwiches and go home eat with hubby and I'm pretty sure he's the one out going back to work tonight or that was last I heard so he's gonna go work an extra shift and then I'll be back out here to do another shift of delivery apps so let's go get this and we'll see in a moment <laughs> let's see soup fried rice and something else nice appetizer or something I don't know Hello, it's for Ashley. Yeah, we'll pick it up right now. All right, thank you. I'm good. How are you? We're so warm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> You're busy? Mm, not too bad. Hopefully it'll get better this evening. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. Yeah, thank you. All right, my friends. Let's go get this one delivered. Thank you for your business. Have a great day. All right, guys. Let's see what happens next. All right, guys. So it is one o'clock. We're gonna stay out another hour before we do anything for um, dinner. And so I'm gonna leave you right here in the car. And we're gonna see if we can get a few more orders before we call it for the after morning and morning slash afternoon and then we'll go over the numbers and we'll come back out this evening probably around 4 30 so we'll see you back here in a little bit all right guys it is 3 15 and i just picked up our dinner from wingstop i did an online order to be picked up by me and pay when i got there when I came back from doing my last delivery so we did that and we made a hundred and fifteen dollars and eighty one cents in six hours 
for $19.30 an hour is not ideal, but you know what? It hasn't been bad because orders, I mean, you know, I could probably say it was five and a half because, you know, we spent time at the bank and I still need to go vote. And I was laughing because a subscriber had posted on my last video, the one that went out today on Friday, that she wanted the backstory on the guy that was staring at me. And I'm pretty sure that was like at Panda Express. I'm really not like looking at the video. So, one, he is the father to a kid that was in my son's class and in Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts and all that stuff. Two, he is also employed at the same W-2 job that I am employed at. I mean, I don't know. If he's retired, he may be. I don't have a clue. Um, and one time, I had to go on travel for my W-2 job. And it was, we had to go to Tennessee. And the lady that I was on travel with, we were at the airport and him and another co-worker of his was also being sent to Tennessee for something. And oh my Lanta guys. So, you know, they were all staying at a different place than what we were staying at because we were, you know, there for two different things. But, um, you know, we all changed numbers. And so one of the nights that we were there, we met them, you know, several of them out for drinks and at some club, you know, go dancing or whatever. I don't remember. And, oh my gosh, I guess because I was nice to him, he would like randomly message me and hey, the man's married and he was always trying to get me to go do stuff with him i'm like dude i don't know wrong city that ain't happening um so that's why i was trying to like not look at him not look in that direction and completely ignore him like i didn't know who he was however i do know who he is so, I mean, it got so bad that I had to block his number from my phone because he would continue. And I, the reason I still had him in my phone was because he would randomly call me or text me. And I had to know who it was. So then I blocked him. And yeah, that's, that's a backstory on that um, person. You know, you just never know. People are just bizarre. So, alright guys, we are going to go home and eat and chill for a little bit and then we'll be back out in probably an hour and a, oh my goodness, about an hour and a half we'll come back out and see if we can make another hundred dollars tonight. It is Friday, it's weird because we make more at the end of the month in the middle of the month the first and the end so that probably tells you how people get paid around here so there you have it folks we will be back out and we'll see you back after a while thanks for being here and if you're new please subscribe like comment and everyone give us a thumbs up so that we will get our videos put out there in the algorithm so that we can get more subscribers we're getting close to 600 so thanks again and we'll see you on the next one